Can you see me on the mini screen up there? No. You can't? No, you can't be seen. You're not seen. I should have just said yes, and then the whole time we're filming, you got to turn yeah, the whole camera leave. this way. Could you imagine the whole time we're filming, you're bar <laughs> barely in it? <laughs> and then when you go to edit it, you're just like... Have we started? Yeah, we've started. Uh, so before we get started, though, I think we should rewatch all three movies just to make sure we got everything right. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. We don't, we don't <laughs> have I just time. watched them. We don't have that kind of time. <laughs> all right. Uh, welcome to the Spongy Podcast. We out here. Yeah. Um, I am Josh, and I am here with my co-host, Adam. What's up? And Noah. I'm not a co-host. I'm the host. Okay. Noah's the host, and Adam and I are his co-hosts. Yeah. All right, no, yeah, run it. <laughs> Here you go. All right, what do you want to this talk about? This is your Noah? time to shine. All right, see, the thing about being a host is you know how to delegate. So, Josh, let's read the summary. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting caught up on the monster movie, the biggest monster movie that's coming out, Godzilla vs. King Kong. And what better way to catch up on that than by watching the last three monster movies? So there's Godzilla 1, Godzilla 2... And then there was Kong Skull Island, right? I think Kong was before the second Godzilla. Was it before? I yeah. can't it I was, couldn't remember. It was before. So the idea is uh, we're reviewing these three movies in preparation for Godzilla vs. Kong. So after we're done reviewing these three movies, we'll then give our thoughts on what we think is going to happen during Godzilla vs. Kong. I think they're going to fight each other. Thank you for that. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about Godzilla 1. Um our general thoughts did we like it did we hate it, it? out of the three movies is definitely the best one yeah it, it wasn't terrible but okay. it wasn't like a, it's not a movie i'm dying to see again <laughs> or ever watch again probably i didn't like it i, I didn't think it was the best out of these three really? Honestly, i liked kong more <sighs> Dude, it's when true. was the last time you watched Kong? I actually watched it recently. Oh my gosh. Kong was, de Kong was definitely... I like, just so drunk that you barely remember it? <laughs> just, just totally... <laughs> about to black out. Such, <laughs> yeah. such a bad that movie. That movie was terrible. It was super slow, yes, Kong was. But Godzilla, I don't remember anything memorable from it. The only thing I remember is the incest relationship between Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that movie, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. It added okay story in the special effect i honestly think the special effects in the first godzilla were better than the second one i don't remember what those special effects looked like yes the special effects i think were good overall like i think out of all of them these are really good special effects but yeah I, I don't know like godzilla like both movies i feel like their logic was just stupid like the whole skydiving scene at the uh, in godzilla one so badass. It's cool, yes, were, but that it's was, unrealistic with the red smoke. It's just like, oh, look, humans. And Godzilla goes and eats them. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so Godzilla 2, I thought, was by far the worst out of these three. No, Kong definitely was the worst really? out of the oh, three. The second one sucked. I, okay, so here's my... Here's I my think, yeah, I think I agree with that. Here's my notes Kong on the first the one. Here's my notes on the second one. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, like, literally, the biggest thing I had with the story about the second one was... The late the the mom in this entire movie is like, oh, we need to live among the animals. So they totally stole the story from Jurassic World Two with Chris Pratt, where I was like, oh, we have to live in harmony, you know, with the dinosaurs and humans type thing. But in this yeah. case, it's monsters and humans. But in order for her to do that, to live in harmony with humans and monsters, she has to kill all the humans first to let the monsters go free. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> so. Yeah, that was dumb. I mean, yeah, she was stupid, but, like, they ha they basically had to get... They needed an excuse to get Godzilla to fight another big villain. That, <laughs> that, but that was the, like, the worst excuse possible. Here's, here's an easier... the worst excuse you know, possible. Yeah, because think about it. It's like, oh, guess what? You know how Godzilla uh, woken up and we know about him? Guess what? There's more monsters waking up now, too. But instead, it's like, oh, the humans are causing this. They're causing the awakening and everything. It's just... I don't know. I, I hate that cliche of like, oh, humans are the cause of all the problems like when it comes to these monster movies. <laughs> yeah. The other dumb thing about the second Godzilla movie is like, the mom is just such a... <laughs> I mean, like, honestly, like, she was trying to keep the daughter away from the father the entire time and then would kill just people like in front of her and just like, oh, it's okay. It's for the greater good. Like, yeah. I love you. <laughs> that movie, it was not good, but Kong was way worse, dude. That was the dumbest so Kong, movie. So Kong was super slow. 
Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I completely agree on that. The ideas that they had in it, like all the creatures and stuff like that, I thought that was really cool and creative. I, I just think the just Peter Jackson bad. one was done way better. Oh, right, yeah, because, I mean, with this newest Kong movie, the idea is to set up Kong to fight Godzilla in the future. Mm -hmm. Peter Jackson's was strictly just looking at King Kong, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why, I mean... Yeah, well, but, like, I feel like in Kong Skull Island, the mm -hmm. new one, it's like there was no, like, fear behind Kong, like... It just all of a sudden he shows up. It wasn't like a yeah. sneak attack or like they just kind of like they just like blew their load all at one time. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like okay, all of a sudden here's King Kong. Yeah, I mean Brie Larson's character Captain Marvel, mm. she sucked. Oh yeah, she sucked. And then also the movie sucked too. But back to the, yeah, yeah. as an actress, but like, but like her character was completely unneeded. It well, was just I like, like how they did the first Godzilla, where it's like you really didn't see Godzilla until towards the end. Mm -hmm. Where yeah. you finally see him in all his glory, and it's like, holy cow, it's Godzilla. Where, like, they build That's it true. up, and then finally, <laughs> they're basically edging, edging, and then finally they let you bust, but then... That, that is true, because, yeah, I remember, like, yeah, the second Godzilla, like... <laughs> <laughs> when he's gonna skim over that, like it was nothing. <laughs> also, something that's unrealistic about all three of the movies, there's no genitalia at all. Yeah, it's just like a Ken doll. I mean, the, the first... <laughs> King Kong had no dong. Hey. <laughs> so, yeah, with Godzilla, you're right, Noah. Like, they didn't show all of Godzilla until, like, the very end. And even, like, where if this blue flame power or whatever, like, again, they didn't show that till the very end. But, like, mm -hmm. in the second one, he was, like, using it, like, left and right. Just like, okay, cool, monster movie, fun. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the special effects in the second one looked like it was in, made in the 1985s. I know. How was that even possible? The second one was made later, but the special effects were worse than the first one. It literally looked like clay dolls. I think the reasoning why... Yeah, is, there was a couple points where it did look like clay dolls. So, he, from my understanding how CGI works and how it, like, tricks our brain, when watching Godzilla 2, it's visual effects shot after visual effects shot after visual effects shot. You're seeing all these monsters all the time, and then you compare it to, like, the humans that you see running around, it's like... Oh, that's unrealistic because the humans look nothing like the monsters. Mm -hmm. But with Godzilla one, where they didn't show Godzilla, you know, at all, and it was mainly just the humans, you know, reacting to a monster being in their world. That's why it came off like more realistic in the first one. I feel like because you didn't see that many visual effects shots; you only saw real shots. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Because you didn't see the monsters as much in the first Godzilla or something? Yeah, and our brains weren't used to seeing, oh, this is CGI the entire time. Your brain was tricked by seeing all these humans walking around in the first one, and it's like, oh, this must be real life. Like, look how realistic it looks. It's kind of like how Jurassic Park works so well, because all of it was either animatronics or very minimal visual effect shots. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite out of all the three, Adam? Probably Godzilla 1. Just because one. it's not really the story was good or anything or the acting. Mm -hmm. It was um just like certain shots in the movie was just really cool. Yeah. Like the parachute thing was like it was a dumb idea, but there was the one shot where it was like there was a cloud over him, but like it was like it, yeah. also curving and then under him. It was just such a cool shot. That, that was like one of the things that yeah, I, I had written down in my notes. Like it is super creative shot wise. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. but again, like the logic's just not there. And then this, <laughs> literally the second one was just thrown together. There was nothing cool oh, about yeah, it. There was nothing. They were like, We're gonna take a bunch of monsters and just CGMI for them to look like clay dolls and fight each other. Do we like Eleven as an actress? Who's eleven? She's the she's kid. really only good in Stranger Things. She's the kid in um, Godzilla Two. I didn't pay any attention to her. Okay, cool. She didn't really have that big of a role in Godzilla Two. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that <laughs> but she was really annoying in it when she did. That was the other thing I had too. Um, everybody had plot armor in that uh, movie, where like helicopters would just be smashed to pieces, like in one scene by Godzilla. But then, like, if our heroes are on this helicopter, then they're fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Oh, so dumb. Oh, so dumb. Kong. The mm -hmm. beginning of the movie when literally all the helicopters were destroyed within second. Oh, yeah. But everybody survived. It was like, what the frick? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was stupid too. Like and like even in that movie, like Samuel Jackson was just meh. He like, was a he, horrible actor in that movie. Yeah, I, I think because it was like PG thirteen and it was like you can't swear at all in this movie. I'm just like, why am I in this movie? Like, yeah, it was <laughs> really just his whole like vendetta of wanting to kill it like from uh, the yeah, beginning. It, it didn't make so, any sense. It was so forced and so dumb. Yeah, like uh, it, 
yeah, if it was like anything like in real life, like yeah, he if he had revenge like that, he would come back with the whole military and then come take him down. Like there'd be no point in him and a small army of like guy and their little guns to shoot him. <laughs> so they have helicopters with these big guns on them. Yes. And they're shooting Kong and nothing's happening and they have rockets and all that all that good stuff or whatever. Right. What makes him think that with little handheld <coughs> rifles they're gonna do some damage and kill it? Yeah, it, it was just such a dumb a, again logic. The and plot all, line was horrible. Let's just say that. Yeah, again, logic in all three of these movies were stupid. And and they like, never showed him exiting the island too. Yeah, so I guess that's where Godzilla versus Kong it picks up. Like they're gonna kidnap Kong, and then they're also kidnapping that little native girl too, or something. Who? I remember seeing the trailer. There's like a little girl that apparently talks to Kong. I haven't even uh, seen. I haven't seen the trailer. Oh, you bit. haven't. I've seen bits and pieces. Oh, we can watch it right now. I'm gonna pull it up in your Apple TV. <laughs> King Kong's like an action hero. I know. <laughs> He looks stupid. <laughs> Did that movie so, was awesome. anybody thinking they were playing Ark for a second? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Control Kong. It's it's that like it's like they're playing Ark. It looks like they took like Mike uh, Mike Tyson and put like a mocap suit on him. Like, all right, fight for Kong. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> like he looked like a full on boxer. Like, why would Kong know this? <laughs> uh, oh, yikes. It looks actually pretty sick. We should go see it in IMAX. <laughs> IMAX 3D? Yeah, spend 3D. another $30 on oh, a freaking ticket? Please, no. Not 3D. I don't like 3D, but I would see it in IMAX. I bet you'd be pretty sick. So before we talk about what to expect from Godzilla vs. Kong, because we all know it looks like garbage, what would we rate the original three that we just saw? At Godzilla 1, what would Didn't we rate we already it? do a rating on those? No, we didn't. We haven't done it yet. Oh. Yeah. We kind of jumped the gun and watched the trailer first. Um, I'll, I'll start it off. So I'll say Godzilla 1. I'd give it t uh, two inappropriate siblings kissing each other out of two. Out of ten, rather. So wait, are we doing it that anything below five and below? You don't even bother watching? We said, five and, we said five and below, watch at your own risk. That's what we're saying. And then what? Three and below, don't even bother? Like We haven't talked about it, don't even bother. I think anything two or below. Two or below. Don't even bother don't watching. Even bother. Yeah. If I, it's a solid zero, watch for watch for how ba bad it is because it. There it's, you go. Some movies are just that funny where they're <laughs> that bad. Um, I don't know. I'd probably give it like the first one. I'd probably give like a six, maybe a seven. Gosh, you thought it was that good? I, I was gonna say I seven, would, seven. I would recommend watching it. All right. I was gonna say seven. I, I think in Godzilla. Out of ten, <laughs> missing. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing there. All right, Godzilla two. What do we rate this movie? Mm. I'll, I'll rate it two Hydra heads out of ten. <laughs> Don't even bother. I would. <laughs> <coughs> the second one, I'd probably give it like a three and a half, four. Okay. So I like you hated that. Watch movie. at your own risk. The second Godzilla. Yeah. It was okay, but it, like again, if you're gonna watch it, maybe there's not really a good reason to watch it. But I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good reason to watch it, but maybe, maybe I'll give it a two. Don't even bother. Yeah, Adam. Maybe a three, two and a half, two and a half for Noah. On yeah. the edge of don't even bother and watch at your own risk. <laughs> it's like teetering on it. Yeah. <laughs> I would say three. <laughs> Cross gender species out of ten. <laughs> it's gonna suck so much. I have to edit this later. <laughs> What'd you give the first one? A seven. He gave it a seven. Okay. Just because it had so many like cool shots in it. Right. Yeah, there was some of the that special was, like, the effects was like ten times better. The storyline of the first one it wasn't terrible. 
but the special effects were actually really good for the time. Well, I mean, that's pretty modern, but... And then the, there was some scenes, like, when they're jumping out of that plane with the... I mean, sure, it's stupid, but it looked sick. Yeah. Like, super sick. Mm-hmm. All right, and finally, Kong Skull Island. I originally was going to give it three crashed helicopters out of ten, but I think I'm going to say two as well. I'm going to say two across Solid the board. Solid twos. Yeah. Solid don't even two. bother watching any of them. I don't like these. <laughs> these movies suck. <laughs> yeah, dude. Such a letdown and disappointment. I don't like these movies. I mean, I'll watch them just for kicks and giggles and for this, but I, I don't think you should watch these I'll movies. They're it, not worth it. I'll give it a two cocky Kongs out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it two missing bana- Kong bananas out of ten. <laughs> Wait, he has two. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, it's they're like missing. A can- it's like a kangaroo. It's double pronged. <laughs> yeah. That movie, don't even bother watching it. It's not worth renting. I mean, uh, if you could steal it online, I guess watch it, but it's not worth it. If you have HBO Max, it. I guess watch it. Should we rate the trailer? Oh, yeah. it, it's on HBO. Yeah, that, that was one of the things I wanted to ask. What would you rate this trailer? It, by just seeing the Godzilla vs. Kong trailer... What would you rate this movie? Dude, it looked pretty sick. I'm probably like at least an eight, maybe nine. Oh, no! no. <laughs> I'm so stoked. <laughs> I'm so excited. I would, I would give it, I'd give it one, one Kong punching Godzilla in the face at a time. Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> what? It's so dumb. It looks so sick. Oh my Kong looks like a straight up assassin action movie hero. <laughs> Like he's all <laughs> stealth, and then he comes and, whop, and like just John has Snow his axe. Here. I'm telling you, he looks like Mike Tyson put on a mocap suit. Like he got on a fighting that's stance racist. and everything. That's, that's racist. racist. That's I'm saying he looks like a fighter. He looks like a black so you're saying Mike Tyson looks like a gorilla? <laughs> you racist. <laughs> What would you give it? <laughs> you I, move don't, on. I can't win this. <laughs> give it a five homosexual crossbreeding. <laughs> crossbreeding? <laughs> because they're two different species and they're both guys. They're smashing. And they're, gay. <laughs> they're smashing. They're smashing. <laughs> No, I give it a five though, just because I'm intrigued. I'd probably actually. It looks. So I'm probably I'm still gonna watch it. Yeah, I'm it's probably one. gonna watch. <laughs> yeah. but I'm I, gonna watch it because it looks interesting. But I feel like it's gonna be such a letdown. Oh yeah, it, it's, oh, it's gonna be a letdown. I'm fully prepared for my heart to be broken. Okay, so who who do you think I'm is gonna excited. win then out of this? God's alert, Kong. Kong. They're He's make- on the human side. The humans. Can't I think. Lose. I think no. they're gonna tie. It's gonna be something stupid and be like, oh, there's a big bad monster. They need a team oh, up. We're and both work. winners. Yeah. It's yeah. gonna be something stupid like that. Like have so gay bad. sex. <laughs> gay <laughs> cross. So, what did you say? Cross species <laughs> sex. <laughs> international species breeding. International. <laughs> international. <laughs> international <laughs> love. <laughs> what are you, Pitbull? <laughs> yeah, I bet you. I bet you it was gonna be like civil war where it was just like nobody actually died yeah. or won or anything. Exactly. I'm talking about the Marvel movie, not the actual civil <laughs> war for all they- of you racist out there. <laughs> <laughs> Noah. <what? laughs> Sorry. So in the second Godzilla, they made the species all kind of sound like they're radioactive resistant or whatever they absorb it right does that mean if kong were to be nuked he would survive and grow powerful i don't know they didn't describe that in the kong movie but i assume probably okay and then also in this movie the size proportions of them look completely off like kong fits on that boat but in the past Godzilla movies, Godzilla's way bigger than any So, of I watched the Kong movie recently, and they, um, Wreck-It Ralph, he made, the guy from Step Brothers, mm-hmm. he made an offhanded comment saying, oh, Kong's still growing. Because this, uh, yeah. this, Kong... I know, but he, in that scene that they just showed, Kong is on a boat, like an aircraft carrier. No, I know. And so, as soon as he, like, gets up and, roar, and, like, at the water, and then Godzilla comes up, and he's punching him or whatever, he's the same size as Godzilla, but in the original Godzilla movie, Godzilla's way bigger than the aircraft carriers. Like, way oh, bigger. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, so, Kong grew and Godzilla shrunk. I have no idea. <laughs> Again, these movies are inconsistent and stupid, and that's why I give it two across the board. Does that mean his penis is even smaller? 
We're not talking. Yeah. We're not talking. <laughs> we we spent way too much time talking about their penises or lack thereof. Yeah. <laughs> like there. What do you guys think? Comment down Sing below. Kong has a long blue. <laughs> <laughs> Leave your thoughts on this video. <laughs> Comment down below what you guys, what your guys' favorite monster movie is so far, and who do you think is gonna win? <laughs> Godzilla's uh, tiny pecker. <laughs> he has a abnormally small pee. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> On that note. <laughs>throw that in for I, I think I think they're adding more to it which I don't mind but like yeah there are some points where just like, I honestly just much. thought that the story was kind of boring <laughs> yeah okay. like yeah, the movie I think sucks. Wonder Woman I think Wonder Woman's at her best when she's in the Justice League I think hmm. oh so behind all the men is what you're saying <laughs> no that, wow. I mean yeah but no. <laughs> oh my god no